Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the sync lock option and to target tracks for dropping new clips into your timeline. Now I've got my project set up. What I've got is my soundtrack with its markers so I know where I want to have my edit points. I've got my background C sound in audio layer 1 and I've got my video in video 1. And now what I want to do is I want to drop in lots of clips over the top of this syncing them to my markers. Now Previously, if we started from scratch and we did insert and overlay, it was fine. They would just drop in. But if I now do insert at this particular point, I've got a new clip here to insert, so I can uh, either select the panel and hit the apostrophe key or just click this button, what happens is I cut my tracks. So I've cut my video, I've cut my audio, and I've cut my soundtrack, and that's not what I want. I want my soundtrack to stay unaffected. I want my music to stay unaffected and actually I want my video to stay unaffected. I want to drop clips on top of this. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to control Z to undo. The first thing I need to do is I need to target a new video track and a new audio track where I want my video and audio to go. To do this there's two things I need to do. Firstly I need to target or select the header here and untarget the ones I want. So I want audio 3, I don't want audio 1, so that's targeted it but also I need this V and this A to be down here so I can click and drag and pull to the right place or alternatively what you can do is you can simply right click and assign it or as I say just click and drag and pull it to the right place so now I've assigned the video to fall into track 2 and the audio to fall into track 3 so theoretically it shouldn't affect these so if I now click the insert option it still cuts it yes it puts it in the right tracks but unfortunately it's cut straight through what I wanted before so that's not the solution control Z it is partly the solution but not the whole solution what I could do is I could simply lock the tracks so if I click lock that means these tracks will be unaffected by what happens so if I click the insert here fine they go over the top but it's difficult to work with tracks when they're locked and say I want to change things in these tracks to move them and modify them well I can't select it, I can't trim it, there's nothing I can do. So locking isn't really the best option, so Control Z to undo that. I'm going to unlock these tracks, and what I want to use is this icon next to it, which is called Toggle Sync Lock. Basically this item says, don't change this track, don't edit it. If anything drops in, don't change its length, don't change its time, just leave this track unaffected when you drop anything else in. So if I toggle the sync lock, on these ones and now I insert my track there it goes perfectly over the top I can now pull these around to the right edit points and I can also independently edit these bits and pieces here so that they are unaffected I'm holding the alt key here just so I can pull the video out separately to the audio underneath so by using these toggle sync lock options I'm still able to drop clips in because I've targeted the appropriate places I want them to drop and I can still modify my sound, my background sound and my video and I can then add other bits and pieces so let's look at say 3DC I can drop in my 3DC, all I need to do, I've selected my area, I've given my in to out points, drop it in and there it goes over the top and now I can just take it to the appropriate markers that I want to use and then I've got something quite interesting if we look over here in the program panel We've got the kids at play, cut back to the C, and then onto the 3D C, and on from there. And then you can drop lots and lots in just using the keyboard shortcuts of apostrophe for insert or full stop for overlay. They're going to go in tracks that you want them to go in, and they're not going to cut up the stuff that you've already carefully put in there preparing for your workflow. I hope you've found this little tutorial useful and that you can speed up your editing because of it. My name's Andrew Davis. Thank you for watching.